Can you believe it? It's sensational. Welcome again to the McLean Textile Gallery, um, formerly the library, but <laughs> now it's the gallery. And um, we would like to welcome our newest exhibitor, Ann. Hello, Ann. Hello, hi, Nancy. Hi. Um, is the creator of these jewels and gems. So. <laughs> I'd like to talk about it. A little okay, bit. this I call Happy Tree, and um, I had seen in a magazine a, a textile, a tree made from textiles, and I thought, what a fun idea, you know? And I could just take pieces of fabric I already had, um, and so I, I, I designed my own. Uh, this doesn't look anything like the one I saw. I designed my own tree, and uh, used all the different colors and scraps. Mostly, it's uh, cotton knits with some woven uh -huh. fabrics. Uh, and I just sort of built it as I went. I kind of figured out how, how big it should be and kind of played with it and, and everything as I went along. Um, some of it's um, machine stitched, but most of it is hand stitched together, and as you what, can see. What is it stuck with? I stuck with polyester fiber fill, wow. just regular old you know fiber fill that you use. And I, and I built a wooden base uh -huh. because it needs something you know kind of sturdy, and it's got a, a rod up the middle so it can come off. From the base? It yeah, has a red in the middle. Yeah, yeah. I see. So if you want to transport it or pack it or so something, it's you can not do fragile. It's not it's very party. fragile. No, it's like a big pillow. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I Thank love you. It. I like it a lot too. I, it was a lot of fun to put together. Our first that. one. Well, this is spectacular too. I thought that was ribbon in amongst the pussy willows, but it's wow. metal. It's yeah. aluminum. Aluminum. I <laughs> just am. Well, I like to work in many different um, mediums. Uh -huh. You know, I'm a fiber artist, but I I go outside of just the fiber area. You know? I see. And uh, and and this is flashing. It's flashing that you put around your chimney on your house. You know. I know. And it's easy to work with because you can cut it with scissors, and um, and that sort of thing. So uh, so I thought it would be fun. Um, this this piece originated. In fact, my other pussy willow piece as well. Um, because I was having a show with a friend and she wanted to use this fabric. This fabric is from Australia and it's printed with Aboriginal art oh. um, uh, that the, the artist made that they printed the fabric oh. with. And she liked to make clothing like that. Well, I also make clothing, but I didn't want both of us making clothing <laughs> for that show. Uh -huh. So I had to come up with another idea, a way to use the fabric I so that we could coordinate. And this was my idea. I said, well, you know, I've, and I've got a pussy willow tree in my backyard, and I have to cut the pussy willows every mid-March, which is coming up. Oh. oh. And uh, um, I said, I'm not, I, maybe I can use this pussy willow with something. I see. With all the little, you know, catkins on yes, it. But, um, yes. So I decided to get the fabric. I, I wrapped the pussy willow in the fabric, and I wanted to, so, not, uh, so that gives me some fiber, but I also wanted to use a weaving technique, which is a fiber technique, uh -huh. even though I'm not using a fiber material. I see. And so I created, you know, this sort of cutout thing with the um, aluminum, and then attached some wood, a side frame, so it could hang. So you actually wove it in and out of those, and the, how as are best they? I could. They're uh, just wedged in there. Really? <laughs> yes. Really? <laughs> no. Oh my gosh! Well, the texture of the pussy willows yeah. is uh, adds just so much to it, and they yeah, and they get a little random looking. You know, you can't control it completely, so. Well, it's kind of fun. It's very unusual. Thank you. Well, what's the name of this beauty? This piece is called Unfolding. Oh. Um, it isn't literally unfolding because I didn't make it so that it could unfold. But when I finished it, I thought it kind of looks like it's it's coming up, coming open, you know. Uh -huh. um, but this, I created a wire frame, and then I wrapped the wire frame with um, I think I wrapped it with muslin. And then um, I um, cut all these little triangles and out of canvas and sewed them on. Nice. Uh, and kind of figured out where I wanted the, some openings, some closed, um, and you know, and, and just, and then I painted it. Then I painted it. Um, and there's a surprise in here too, if you want to come in and look, there's a little surprise right in here. I see. I have a little rock in a, what's called knotless netting bag just for fun. Nice. It doesn't really have anything to do with unfolding, but I just felt like I wanted to put Something. a little surprise in there. 
<laughs> so we hung it low enough that people can come in and if they're looking at looking at it, they can it. see it and see it. It's so just a, a fun little surprise. Where did you get the inspiration for it? You know, I, I see things in magazines. I think I saw some sort of a lamp uh -huh. or a chandelier, rather, I have to say, that was like paper and it was like across the ceiling, uh -huh. which I think would be so cool. And I thought, oh, that's kind of a neat idea, uh -huh. you know, and, and so I made something. I used that idea uh -huh. to kind of come up with this. No, it's, it's and that's all, as you can tell, it's all hand stitched. Yes. You can't do it any other yes, way. Yes, that's <laughs> what's so spectacular. Yeah, about. thank you. Um, I and we have another pussy willow mm -hmm. on, in the the tri area, mm -hmm. the, three, the three pieces. Um, but I think they're magnificent together. Thank you. Don't you? Uh, yeah, I do. No, I, I like yeah, that. I, this, I do like on it. this. Um, yeah, this wall, they look on nice. this wall. Yeah, a plain wall with those. Really, they're just so dramatic. Again, it's Pussy Willow and Aluminum. Yes, this was the first one of that series that I made. So in this case, it's actually more woven. Again, it's the Pussy Willow, it's the fabric, uh -huh. a different fabric obviously than the other one. I call this one Watching Waters uh, because it has something to do with the name of the fabric, which I don't recall what it was now. Mm -hmm. But then I actually made little strips of aluminum here yeah. and kind of did more or less weave it in. And again, they're mostly just wedged in place. You know, it, it, it holds with the catches on the fabric and that sort of thing. It's you know? wonderful. It almost so, looks like a dancing. Yeah, is, I guess is it so. Dancing? Well, dancing waters. Maybe that should <laughs> have been the name. Yeah. I don't know. But I call it watching waters. I and, see. Um, oh, it's, yeah. it's beautiful. Thank you. I, I like that one. Again, a lot. The, the three of them are uh, mm -hmm. beautiful. Set. Thank you. Thanks very much. Again, and this is a wall unit, mm -hmm. a series of wall pieces that are spectacular by themselves, but wonderful together. Thank you, I like them together myself. And I have a couple others too in this series that I didn't bring because they didn't really, I was trying to keep a sort of a nature oriented theme uh -huh. for this because I, I realized when I was looking at some of my pieces to decide what to bring into the show, mm -hmm that I had a lot of things that I'd named for nat nature. Uh -huh. And I thought, oh, that'd be a good theme. You know, so, so these are the ones that, that did because we have spring on, the, on that end. Yes. We have um, morning here. Uh -huh. uh, e, um, what do I call this one? Um, nightfall. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then fall, which of course I makes see. sense. Um, and these were part of a show that I did um, at the Workhouse Art Center, uh -huh. which is where I also showed, showed those pieces because um, I have a studio there. Mm -hmm. And um, I set myself a task. Yeah. I, you know, I always, where you get ideas, it, it's always so hard to know, but I decided I wanted to do pieces and I wanted to do stripes. Mm -hmm. And so what I would do, what I decided to do was, uh, I painted a lot of uh, big pieces of canvas. I just spray painted big pieces of canvas. Mm -hmm. So I had like a whole piece of purple, a whole piece of light blue, a whole piece of yellow, oh, whatever it was. See. And then I decided I would make stripes, make pieces, so each, so I decided that the, the original pieces were like maybe 32 by 24. Uh -huh. And I designed a stripe pattern for each one based on the Fibonacci series. Uh -huh. I love them. Okay, I, I had to find some way to come up with stripes. So I mean, that's what I did. I didn't go too far into it because otherwise it would have been too big. Uh -huh. um, so I designed stripes and then I started looking how to put the colors together. And that's when I started thinking, well, these colors go together and they remind me of spring. Uh -huh. And this, these colors go together. And when I got them together, I said, that looks like a morning, like a nice bright blue morning with the sun shining above it. Uh -huh. This one, nightfall, you know, with a little orange at the bottom and the night coming. And of course, fall, fall colors and also the way it, it shaped. So what I did is I designed the stripe pieces. Uh -huh. And then I took little pieces of paper and colored them like I did my stripe pieces. Uh -huh. And I cut them up. Because remember, these were all rectangles yes, to start with, yes, like this. Yes, yes. And I cut them up and I rearranged my little pieces of paper uh -huh. until I got a shape I liked. And so I got, came up with all these different shapes. And originally, they were all exactly the same size. I see. I see. And that's, that's how I came, and then I sewed them back together. I sewed the stripes together and then I sewed the pieces back together after I cut them up. So this is a canvas? -like it's canvas. Material. It's painted on canvas. Uh -huh. It is canvas. Uh -huh. And I backed it to stiffen it. And uh, and what's another interesting aspect of these things, the, the, the spring not so much, but when I made them, they were all perfectly flat. And I thought that's how they would hang on the wall, perfectly uh -huh. flatly. Uh -huh. But they didn't. 
they they moved. Uh -huh. See, they got little bulges. They got some twists and turns to them. Uh -huh. And at first, that upset me, but yeah. then I yeah. decided I liked it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it gives them this piece is called The Path Led to a Surprising Place, which is sort of a long name for a little piece. But it was just a fun exercise in, in putting shapes and colors together and, and then playing with mirrors. Um, it is, um, is hand-stitched, and then I painted the, the canvas, and then I used colored pencils on the canvas, and, and then uh, attached it to a, an existing you know, stretched canvas. So. I see. It's just a fun, a fun little thing. Okay, I, I started a new series. I, I've always used paper mache, and you'll see some other paper mache pieces. But this is paper mache over a core of uh, extruded polystyrene. So it's very light, and you can, you, it, the wonderful thing is that you can cut any shape you want and then uh -huh. cover it up. Uh -huh. So you, you aren't label, you know, limited, uh, and, and it gives it a structure, but it's very light. <laughs> and we had fun hanging this piece, because in fact, actually, I'm gonna show you this. Actually, it's really supposed to hang like oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> but we couldn't do it, as so we just decided to let it do its own thing. It's, it's impressive. And uh, it's called Yellow Sun. Um, I thought it looked a little like a landscape when I got it done. I didn't intend it, but it's like a lake and a grass and a tree and, and a sun. So that's why it's... What uh, paint do you use? This is just acrylic artist paint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it's not a fabric paint because it's not ever going to be washed or anything like that. It's just a regular artist color. paint. Yeah, artist colors. Okay, this is a triptych, and, and the technique I used here is to, it's sort of like a tropanto in a way, where you stuff something from the back. So I, I created the shapes and hand stitched them to a backing of a canvas, and then I stuffed them from the back and then um, uh, attach the canvas to a, a piece of, uh, again, a already stretched canvas, uh -huh. and then painted them and hand stitched. I guess I hand stitched before I actually attached them to the canvas. Uh -huh. And the little red circles, of course, are all hand stitched. Uh, and I created dimension just by adding, you know, essentially, you know, uh, strips of fabric to create some dimension. Um, but they're, they're hand painted with acrylic paints, regular artist paints, and then hand stitched. What do you call them? I call them arcs with red circles. Uh, and, and, and they can hang either vertically as I have them or yes. horizontally, mm -hmm. if you have the space for it. Deep tones and vibrant, yeah. vibrant colors. Okay, this is also a paper mache over the extruded polystyrene. I call this goldfish. And, you know, I just had fun with colors and shapes. And again, with this material, you can do many different things. And I, I had some comments um, from my husband and from another friend. Maybe they weren't too crazy about the um, uh, seeing this metal um, uh, pieces in there, which are the bolts that hold it together. Uh -huh. But I personally kind of like that look. It, uh -huh. it just shows how something is put together. Um, I didn't see anything wrong with that. So no. that's why you see the bolts, and on the back they're sticking out. You know, so uh -huh. I, <laughs> I kind of enjoy that. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll explain these. These are also paper mache. I used cardboard as my base and built the, the cardboard up um, in the shapes that I wanted and then um, painted them and then I covered it with newsprint. As you can see, the newsprint showing through. So oh I chose gosh. I choose not chose not to paint it solidly, uh -huh. but to leave a little of the newsprint showing through. And and I, I created this as part of a series I was calling Shelter. So I have three pieces. One is Arbor like the trees are coming over, uh -huh. pond, you know, it's, it's a pond where it's sheltering some fish, uh -huh. the little orange pieces in the middle, and then this one is called cave. Uh -huh. um, and so I, I decided to use some hand um, dyed fabric that I had done, and the, um, let's see, this is the hand dyed fabric on this piece, uh -huh. and hand dyed fabric on the center piece, and then for the far end piece, I actually just painted fabric. Oh, did you? Uh, and, and cut it into strips so that I could get the colors I wanted. I didn't have other colors that I wanted to use. Oh, I so um, uh, anyway, and I, like I said, I wanted them to sort of be like, like they're sheltering the little center, center part. Oh, it was a part of a series. Okay. And I had some, and these, these are the ones that reflect like nature. Uh -huh. I had a couple other things in the show, but they were like house forms, so they weren't exactly oh, nature, so I, see. I didn't include those. Well, they're, uh, well, and then we have our last piece, is this one. 
Okay, this is called Wave for of obvious course. reasons. And uh, again, I created a metal frame, sort of like I did in uh, Unfolding. And uh, again, I wrapped the, um, the frame itself with some fabric. I think in this case, it's polyester organza. Mm -hmm. And then I took other pieces of polyester organza and laid them out on a pieces of plastic and I painted the polyester organza separately. Uh -huh. And when you paint it on top of plastic, it sort of the, the, the water, the paint sort of pools. Mm -hmm. So you get variations like things like this yeah. that happen, you know, that when it dries, it's sort of been, it's not even. Uh -huh. And so I had all these colors uh, that I thought I wanted to work with, uh -huh. uh, you know, pieces of fabric like this. And so then I cut them up and I, and I had put an uh, uh, a underneath piece so that I had something to stitch onto. Uh -huh. And, um, and then I, I started at one end and went up to the other end and, and adding layers as I went and changing the color slightly so that you get the yes, feeling of yes. a little froth like wave in the way. At the top. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's just uh, beautiful. Well, thank you. Really and good. again, hand stitched. <laughs> so. And the, t the pedestal that it's sitting on. You made yourself. I, mean, I made these pedestals, <laughs> yes. I made them some time ago for a show I was in. And, 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 and they come apart as a piece of, of, of uh, metal plumbing stuff. And, so, um, and they're very handy. <laughs> where did you learn to weld? I mean, <laughs> well, no, these just they screw together. <laughs> well, I think I, I very much appreciate uh, the chance to have this show. I think it's really great that you're starting this gallery. Yes. It's very Thank nice, you. very nice to, for you to, for us to have a new textile gallery. Yes. So yes. when I heard the news, I decided that I had to apply. Yes. And I'm very thrilled that I was accepted and I'm able to put a show on. They said, wait till you see the sculpture work that they made. Oh. <laughs> Little this does. Um, we're considering going back and enlarging it. Wow, that would be fabulous. So um, look, look for the news on that, on that one anyway. That would be excellent. Uh -huh. Well, I thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. And it'll, uh, Anne's pieces will be here for the month of March, and we'd love to have Everybody come by. We're a Tuesday, a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, uh, 11 to 4, and uh, close Wednesday. Uh, by appointment, right now, uh, by appointment only. Um, and we're looking at, um, I had uh, uh, someone that questioned me about having uh, space to allow a group of ladies to come in to have their meeting here and enjoy mm -hmm. the artwork, and um, so we're considering that okay, too. Okay, that would be nice. I think, and maybe you could participate. Sure, we can see in that. What, if, if what, it would yeah, be when that's scheduled and what time? Yeah, if sure. Your time mm -hmm. would be worked out. So yeah, thank you for coming and look, come and see Anne's pretty things. Thank you.